Hi Leo, Sun, Rising, and Venus, and welcome to your September 2022 tarot reading. I'll be taking a look at your past, present, future, as well as some other good stuff. Please keep in mind that this will not resonate with all of you, so you're more than welcome to check your other placements. All right, Leo, let's go ahead and start with love messages. What messages do you have for the sign of Leo? Getting just Holy Spirit for the month of September 2022. What messages do you have for the sign of Leo? Two more. All right. Under the deck, you have forgiveness. Forgiving yourself for another will help you move forward. Vulnerability, you can be completely open with this person. Warning, don't dismiss the red flags here. And stability, this relationship can stand the test of time. So Leo, there's something around your energy, something or someone where you really need to pay close attention. Spirit is saying, don't dismiss the red flags. Okay, something may be feeling like it's off. All right, doesn't have to be in regards to love, could be in regards to anything. So only you know what that is. Now, for those of you wanting to express yourself to someone, I feel like Spirit is saying you can express yourself. Don't be afraid to be vulnerable. Don't be afraid to open up and express whatever it is that you want to um, express here, okay? Um, now, with stability, I feel like, you know, some of you could be put at a test at this time, all right, especially when it comes to a relationship. But I feel like, like something about passing a test, I feel like whatever test that's going to be presented to you, like you will pass it. It will lead to success. There's someone around your energy as well who wants your forgiveness. Or maybe you're wanting to apologize to someone, Leo. Yeah, a little bit of different energies that I'm picking up on. Okay. For those of you in a connection in a relationship at this time, it may be time to set some boundaries, all right? Maybe one person's putting more effort or more financial stability than the other. Let's go ahead and dig further. Recent past for the sign of Leo. God, angels, Holy Spirit, what happened in the recent past for the sign of Leo? Yeah, this is exactly the energy I was picking up on. Some of you in the past were dealing with someone or something that was just not balanced, okay? I feel like someone was putting in more effort, more energy, more work in a situation. And for some of you, it talk, it, this is about finances. You could have reconciled with someone in the past or, think, or some confrontation could have occurred. With the Three of Wands in reverse, some of you could have been traveling, you could have been dealing with someone at a distance, or this could also talk about maybe the wait finally being over. Again, I feel like there was action taken or decision that was made. Something about March could be significant. July. But I feel like something here was definitely one-sided. For some of you, this could have been in the work environment as well. Maybe you feel like you weren't getting paid as much. You weren't receiving as much. Things were not fair. Some of you may have been putting extra hours, extra work in. And it's like you feel like, like you weren't receiving the recognition. Some of you could also be waiting on a check or some type of finances or some document to go through. But, you know, if this has to do with love, then definitely it talks about one-sided connection that you were dealing with in the past. Let's clarify. Why is the Three of Wands here in reverse? Recent past for Leo. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you were focused on your finances in the past, focusing on uh, building something, on a project, a business. You could have been dealing with a Capricorn Virgo Taurus, somebody who has Earth in their chart. One more. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles here. Recent pass for Leo. Yeah, the King of Pentacles. Some of you were definitely connecting with someone who has Earth in their chart, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Or this could be your energy. Maybe you have Earth in your chart. Or you were just really focused on building something for yourself, your finances, your business. 
Some of you could have been dealing with someone who's like over 25 years old, dark, dark eyes, dark hair. Maybe you feel like this person's too focused on money, too focused in like at work or something like that. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles one more. Recent past. Okay, Knight of, Pen Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands in reverse. For some of you, you could have been dealing with a younger Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, maybe an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. I feel like this was a very in and out energy. Okay, very, a lot of inconsistency, very charming, very attractive energy, but at the same time, it was like not consistent. You never really know where you stood with this person. Or maybe you were dealing with someone who was very wishy-washy, like one minute they wanted you, the next minute they didn't. And keep in mind, Leo, this could very much be your energy. But I am feeling like... You know, you were the other person. It was like very in and out. Some days they loved you. Some days they didn't. Some days they wanted you. Other days they didn't. You get what I'm saying. Let's go ahead and move on to your current energies. Don't want to stay too stuck here in the past. For some of you, you could be feeling like someone was taking advantage of you financially. Or you were always the one giving more in the situation connection. Some of you may have also needed to cancel a trip. Maybe you canceled a trip or a vacation you were planning to take or something like that. Maybe because of finances. Current energies for the sign of Leo. Got into the spirit. The hermit in reverse. Virgo energy. The hangman. Pisces cancer energy. One more. Current energies for Leo. I feel like right now you might be feeling a little bit lost, Leo, or someone around your energy, maybe a Virgo. I feel like there's like a lack of peace here. It's like you're wanting to have peace. You're wanting to gain some type of enlightenment. But again, maybe someone here is confusing the shit out of you with the Knight of Wands. You have the Knight of Wands twice now. Yeah, see, you're feeling stuck here. Someone around your energy is feeling stuck. Virgo, Pisces, Cancer, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, strong Sagittarius. All right, you might be feeling trapped in a situation, not knowing what to do or not knowing how to escape a situation. I feel like a lot of you are keeping this to yourself or, you know, someone around your energy is not letting you know that they're stressing out. Let's go ahead and clarify. Some of you could be really focused on saving your resources, saving your money. Keeping things to yourself and watching who, you're sh who you share your business to. Spirit is saying that. All right, why is the hermit here in reverse? Current energies for Leo. Getting just Holy Spirit. Yeah, three of pentacles in reverse. You, you know, you could be going through a breakup or maybe there's complications in a connection situation. Maybe even in your work environment. You may be feeling like you don't have enough resources or that you don't know what to do here. Or how am I going to get through this? Like, that's the messages I'm getting. Like, how am I going to get through this or how am I going to get this? These resources, how am I going to get these finances? Again, this could also just talk about you not getting along with the person you're dealing with or it's like things are not working out. Tell me more about the hangman, current energies. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I feel like this is you unless you're dealing with another fire sign. Something about or someone who has green eyes, maybe red hair or like brownish reddish hair tell me more about this queen of wands i feel like despite you know everything that's happening around you leo like you're continuing to keep your head up you're looking very attractive it's like you still manage to put a smile on your face queen of wands ten of pentacles okay so this looks good and the devil card under here so for some of you, there could be unfinished business, all right, either in a connection, in a situation. I feel like things are not completely over, especially maybe if you're dealing with a Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Virgo, Pisces here, Cancer for some of you. I feel like right now, Leo, Spirit is saying that there's some talent you have, something creative that could make you a lot of money, okay? I feel like this has been on your mind for a while, and I feel like Spirit is saying, you know, take action. There's something that you're very talented in that you need to take action already, I feel like something significant will happen in October, all right? Maybe you've been getting ideas or hints in spring, like March, April, and Spirit is saying to take action. 
You may also, if you haven't already, meet a earth sign or a fire sign that is very financially well off or could really help you succeed in some way here. For some of you, this could be an older woman, an older man. But I feel like this is your energy, that you have something creative, like a, a talent that maybe you have been put to use and it could bring you a lot of success here, long-term stability. But you might be stuck in a situation, stuck in your mind or dealing with maybe some type of addiction that's kind of blocking that blessing or blocking you from moving forward. For some of you, there could be unfinished business with someone. Could be a Scorpio, a Capricorn, a Virgo. For those of you dealing with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, I see this person coming forward, possibly to apologize about a third party situation or a heartbreak. Or this could be your energy here. Yeah, they're wanting to heal things with you. Sagittarius energy with a temperance card. Bring things back into balance. So if you have not heard from this person yet, I do see them wanting to come forward and offer you love. Ace of Cups. Let's go ahead and take a look at your near future. Near future for the sign of Leo. Getting just Holy Spirit. Near future for the sign of Leo. What can Leo expect here in September? You know, and if you're feeling confused, Leo Spirit is saying take a time out. All right. Spend some time alone. Really reflect. Clear your mind. Gather all the information before making any judgment calls or any assumptions or decisions. Near future for Leo, September 2022. Three of Cups in reverse. For some of you, there could be a third party in the mix. All right. Maybe you found out about this or they found out about it. Near future for Leo. This could also talk about you canceling plans, Leo. Yeah, that's the energy I'm picking up on. You could be canceling on like going out, you know, drinking, going to bars, clubs, or just having fun or partying because you're really focused on your finances here. Queen of Pentacles. You have the King and the Queen of Pentacles. So I do see you meeting a, a soulmate here in the near future if you're not already dealing with one. But for some of you, I see you possibly staying home more here in the near future. Just really focus on your, your goals, your plans, your finances. I feel like there's a Capricorn Virgo Taurus that watches you. This person could have a lot of ego. Okay. Near future for Leo. The Justice card. Okay, Libra energy. So some of you could be dealing with a legal situation here. I do see that going in your favor. I see you possibly gaining some type of finances or financial win here when it comes to this legal situation. This also talks about karma, okay? I feel like good karma's coming your way or something about karma here. Someone's getting their karma. Libra energy. Tell me more in your future for Leo. Why is it your cups here in reverse for Leo? Yeah, Knight of Cups in reverse. Hmm. Some of you may decide to cut off a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in the near future because you're feeling bored by this person. Like this person like comes in and comes out and it's like you're sick of it. That's very message for some of you. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here in the future? Eight of Wands. Yeah, there's definitely, I feel like, an Earth sign communicating. Maybe a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a Libra. Tell me more. There's communication coming in. Six of Cups. Yeah, I feel like someone in the near future. I'm not surprised, guys. Keep in mind that we are going to be in Mercury retrograde. So people from the past tend to come back. I do see possibly a... Capricorn Virgo Taurus here could be another Leo, but I feel like there's a, a Capricorn Virgo Taurus strong earth Okay, this person could have strong earth in their chart who's going to be communicating here because this person misses you They've been thinking a lot about you You could have known this person for six weeks six months six years or maybe you were with this person for six weeks six months six years You could also expect something in six to eight days. So do keep that in mind I do feel like someone from the past is coming back here to communicate Let's see. Tell me more. Yeah, see, Knight of Pentacles. I feel like for sure this person has Earth in their chart. I feel like they're going to make you an offer of some sort. Tell me more about the Justice card. King of Cups. Yeah, they're going to offer you love here. I feel like this person's been stressing about you. Again, with the Knight of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. They may offer you commitment or a gift. They might give you a gift or something to do with finances. Tell me what this communication is about here. 
I also see that some of you may be receiving like some finances you've been waiting on, a check, some something to come through here. It's going to come through for you in September. And I see it going in your favor, especially if it's a legal situation. Tell me more about the Eight of Wands. What's this communication about in your future for Leo? This is someone who's been prideful or, or, you know, their pride has been stopping them from communicating or offering you something. But I see that coming to an end in September. Yeah, Page of Wands. This is someone that could be younger than you or someone at a distance. Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. I feel like this person's going to communicate and tell you something. They might even travel to come see you, send you a message, possibly wanting a new opportunity with you. It doesn't have to be an ex. Keep in mind, it could be someone maybe you had a thing with, a crush, it could be a friend. One more. Yeah, four of wands. This could be a twin flame. I feel like this person's been really restless about you. All right, Nine of Wands, the Tower, the Fool, and the Four of Wands. You could have lived with this person or you could be dealing with someone where you had a, um, a very strong spiritual connection with. Again, with the Queen of Pentacles here, you have this twice now. Yeah, this could definitely be someone at a distance or maybe someone that had to make a decision. So I do expect communication here, especially if you're dealing with an Earth sign or a Fire sign, maybe a Libra. Okay, Leo, let's go ahead and move on to your angel number. You may have already been seeing this number. If not, be close attention. The angels are trying to tell you something. Angel number for the sign of Leo. 23, I am adventurous. And 11, I am intuitive. So the, num so the number 11 or 23 could be very significant this month. You have keen awareness of what is happening around you. A strong intuition is your gift and will help you understand the unspoken feelings and thoughts of others. This insight allows you to be great guide and supporter. And the number 23, you have a zest for life and you are eager to experience anything and everything possible. You love change and excitement and need both to feel truly alive. For you, for you, life is an adventure to be lived to the fullest. Beautiful. All right, let's see. What crystal do you have for the sign of Leo? If you don't have this crystal, it's okay. Feel free to write it down, screenshot it, Google it, see how I can help you manifest this month. Crystal for Leo, guiding your Holy Spirit, Crystal for Leo. All right, Aquamarine Courage. And you do have Selenite, number 37, Peace and Crown Chakra. So it's this one right here. So I do see or feel, Leo, that you're seeking some type of peace and courage here, maybe to face a situation or a person. I feel like these two crystals will really bring not only courage, but peace into your life, all right? You may want to pay attention to the number 4, 37, 11, 23, um, crown chakra, and throat chakra. The colors may also be significant. But all right, Leo, this was your September 22, 2022 tarot reading. If it did not resonate, feel free to check your other placements. Thank you to all my loyal subscribers who continue to love and support my channel. And if you haven't already, please like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.